Small fines, no jail time, both guns must be destroyed. That's the final sentence for Mark and Patricia McCloskey, the Central West End couple that pointed guns at protesters last summer. Our Sarah Maki was in the courtroom for this afternoon's plea deals. She's live tonight outside the courthouse with details. Sarah. Almost all of the details were buttoned up before they got to court today, except for this. The McCloskeys asked the judge to save one of their firearms to make the rifle involved ineffective so it could be donated to charity and auctioned off as a historic artifact. It is a request that the judge today denied. But leaving the courthouse this afternoon, Mark McCloskey said it was a good day for the McCloskey, seemingly happy with the results of the outcome. He pleaded guilty to misdemeanor assault. His wife, Patricia McCloskey, to misdemeanor harassment. Combined, they will pay about $2,800 in fines and face no jail time. Although both of the guns involved will be forfeited and destroyed, this does not affect the McCloskey's ability to own other firearms. After court today, Mark McCloskey said he stands behind their actions. And I'd do it again anytime the mob approaches me. I'll do what I can to place them in imminent threat of physical injury because that's what kept them from destroying my house and my family. These misdemeanors don't affect the McCloskey's ability to hold office since Mark McCloskey is currently running for U.S. Senate, U.S. Senate, even turning this sentence today into some campaign material online. But this outcome has become political fodder on both sides. The Democratic hopeful Scott Sifton saying today, quote, Committing a crime in St. Louis is now a prerequisite to running as a Republican in Missouri. I also did talk to one of the protesters that was there on that day almost one year ago, the Reverend Daryl Gray. He said that he considers this a small victory since the McCloskeys did have to admit guilt to something. Reporting live tonight, Sarah Maki, five on your side.